Dixon, 4 and 14, 0 oh and 9 at home, and 0 oh and 2 against the Bombers. A Bombers team that was 7 and 2 on the road, 13 and 3 overall. Dustin Nielsen and Doug McClain with you. A high kick that hung up there forever. Eventually, it comes down and will be taken by Cole. Takes it back outside the 30. Good coverage downfield by Edmonton. That kick had some hang time on it, didn't it? <laughs> it really did. Four I mean, receivers yeah. wide side of the field to his right. They'll hand it off to Johnny Augustine. Augustine wrapped up immediately, and they will take a loss on the play. A nice start for this preseason defense. They'll start in with it. this ball just outside their own 40. A handoff to Brown, and he picks up where he left off last year. Kevin Brown down inside the 40 and eventually forced out of bounds. And a big preseason burst from number four in white. We'll come out here for Chris Jones. And the guy who turned 36 years old just a few days ago kicks this one up and it is through. And the Edmonton Elks take an early 3-0 lead and put points on the board here in their wide right again. Has some time, gets it away down the field. And that is broken up neatly as he was trying to drop it in there for Brendan O'Leary Orange quite some time for Edmonton. Now they'll pitch it ahead. Forbes Mumblo, far side, wrapped up and taken down. Really no room there. Alden Darby, at engineering grant has become the last few years. Here's Kolaros, fakes a handoff. Now down the field, drops it in. Inside the 30, down to the 10, and they will not be stopped. Touchdown, Bombers. No flags on the field. And look who it is as he finds Kenny Lawler in his return to Edmonton. I expected them to bring. I didn't, I didn't think someone like Lawler would be here. I mean, yes, the connection, of course, to playing in Edmonton. Behind Cornelius and out to his right. Goes right over the middle, and that is complete for a first down to Eugene Lewis. His first catch as a member of the Elks. Mitchell yep. and Kevin Brown, these late season guys who all of a sudden look like they have somewhat star potential. Here goes Brown again, and that's another first down with a little spin along the way. Second. And 11 here for Cornelius. Three to the left, two to the right. In trouble again. This time he will not get away, and he is taken down by Caleb Thomas, and that'll force third and long. Here for an absolute thriller. Now here's Kolaris, he remains in the game, hands it off to Augustine, and Augustine will be stopped short of what they needed. It was a second and three situation, and the offense is still hit for some big plays. Kolaros to the end zone, and that is stopped just short. Looks like the path was there, but they managed to deny Lawler of his second touchdown. In a short yardage from the one, lunging over the line, and it looks like a touchdown for the Bombers. Their second of the first half. And, and he punches it through cleanly. Bombers on the top. Some penalties here. I've heard them on both sides of the ball. Now they'll hand it off. And this is the guy who impressed a lot on Monday down in Calgary, Shannon Brooks, with his first touch of the game. And he kind of picks up right where Kevin one. Brown. And that one is through and points on the board for Trey Ford in the Edmonton offense late in the first half, a drive in which they were in the shadow of their goalposts. We'll hand it off O'Leary Orange, who's been heavily involved in the offense, took a pretty good pop, but it didn't slow him down much. Took two Elks to finish him off, but he comes up with enough to be okay. Brown over the middle. O'Leary Orange again, and he goes down to his backside to hang on to this one just inside the 30. And Drew Brown has marched the Bombers down there to watch play. This one from 35, and that is up, and it is through. So they got the ball with just over a minute left, but then the Edmonton 53. Some pressure this time. Ford in the pocket, trying to escape, and he does. Takes off, looking for a first down, far side of the field. He's got it, and a few extra yards for good measure as the Elks keep on marching here. Ford, a completion, a heavy hit, but the ball was held onto, and a nice job there by French to make sure. Lots of time, good protection, down the field and batted away. That's Ford, we haven't seen them take many shots. He was looking for Raph. Second and 15. Ford, needing 15. Has some time, now out to his right, and he's gonna take off, and he's got the 15 yards. And eventually out of bounds, but he got G. Roy Simon on Instagram to get an opportunity here. Ford, up and over, and in! Touchdown, Trey Ford! Spectacular fashion! And the Elks cut into the Winnipeg lead. 
on the Winnipeg 26. Brown, a ton of time, looking down the field, and that one will fall incomplete. Jake Taylor came over to help out on the play. He went eight of nine for 48 yards, seven carries, 43 yards, and a touchdown. And this one right up the middle takes it into bomber territory. Oxley, second and seven. And that is complete down inside the 30 as Danny Vandervoort gets involved in the offense. Nice job again by the Elks. That time they've got their quarterbacks upright. Third and eight, faithful from just inside 20. And he hammers. There you go. Uh, just maybe a little bit of a loose connection. Here's Pigram now. And he's not going to waste any time. Down the field and a completion deep. Outside the bomber 50 as Pigram got some spit on that. To be won here by some guys trying to cut their teeth in the CFL. Now Pigram fakes the handoff, takes it, and he's away to the races, down to the 20. Pigram to the 10, all the way untouched to the house. Touchdown, second of the game, Terrell Pigram. And the bombers go back on top. Been handed off, and next thing you know is Pigram's to the outside. And as you said, they do get the PI instead. This time they will hand it off. Brooks, right up the middle, get out of his way as he takes it down to the 40, and that might be in the league in offensive big plays with 41. Bombers bring everybody. Loxley's in trouble, and he is taken down. He never really had a shot. has up his sleeve after a pretty impressive first drive for him in the CFL. Looked over to his left. Now he'll take off right up the middle again. Pigram's got a first down, and more. There's a flag back in the second. Josh Jones in at quarterback now. Flag here as he rolls out to his right and gets absolutely clobbered on the far side of the field. Is that Matthew Thomas again, I believe? Boxley flushed out of the pocket again, resets his feet down the field. French wide open, takes it down inside the 35. That's actually Sims, I believe. Boxley with a ton of time. Looking down the field, and that one batted away. Defended extremely well, right over the middle. Dress on in week one. That'll be this, and those are good decisions that a coach wants to have to make. Second and ten for Loxley near side. Does it get there in time? It doesn't. It's hauled in. A big play going up. Loxley with pressure coming, gets it away near side. Leonard hangs on. Touchdown, Edmonton. Raphael Leonard. Pulls them within two with less than two minutes to play. Great hands by Leonard as he picks that one off his shoe tops and then has the presence of mind to corral the ball and turn into the end zone. Loxie knows he has to get it away quickly. Exactly what they needed. A little bit more. High snap. Jones, big guy, managed to reach up, got a hand on it. But it'll be a loss on the play, driving and driving all the way back. Vance Barnes was on his heels. Stop the clock, helps out Edmonton. High kick. Taken just inside the five. Back to the ten. A little bit of room on the far side of the field. And it'll take it outside the 30. An excellent return in this 23 season. seconds on the clock, working from just inside his own 35. Loxley with time, heaves one up. That is caught, but from his own 50. Near side, that is hauled in. Excellent effort from French. Sure. That ball faithful from 52, and that was it blocked at the line. I believe the Bombers tipped it, and that will do it. Winnipeg will hang on, and we talked about faithful being a kicker with a low driving kick.